Oh, we're on. Big one. Big one. That's a big one. That's a big fish. What's the hold on, y'all? We are out here fishing out of a Zello. It is at the peak of high tide right now. Y'all check this out. So this is the parking lot. We just launched, pretty much launched our kayaks right there in the parking lot. These tide swings are insane in here. I think we're having five foot tide swings right now with the full moon. We should be able to catch a falling tide somewhere around 3.30 this afternoon, something like that. And I believe the snook fishing is gonna be real good. Y'all stay tuned. Let's see if we can get on them. Okay, so the lure we're going to start off throwing today is the Hoodwink by Southern Salt Bait Company. This is our very own bait right here. These will be made available around the 1st of October. Uh, but yeah, just puts off a really nice gliding action. The color I'm throwing is the glow bone pattern. And I got that just weedless because there is a ton of grass down there. And I uh, feel like that might be the deal. Just throwing around these mangrove bushes. Oh my goodness, I got nailed. I just got absolutely nailed. I don't know what that was. It felt good. We're coming on this like line right here. Got a lot of cross current moving through here. And uh, I was fishing here the other day and I found a ton of oysters and it was low tide so now that that water's up, I feel like the current coming across those oysters, there should be some fish sitting on it. He's on. He's on. That's a good one. There we go. Just as I suspected. I knew those snook would be sitting right there on that oyster. Come here. Come here. First snook of the evening. I said it was a good one, but these things are really just powerful. Not a great big snook but man what a fight boom and that is the first snook hi uh, y'all that is our first snook of the evening and got them on the doggone hoodwink that is our own lure right there so amazing to sit there and uh you know have your own lure out there and be able to catch fish like this in a place that you really don't have a whole lot of experience we just did a little bit of homework came out here and we're on some doggone snook. I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go now. There's more snook behind me, I'm sure. I, I just got a hunch that this oyster bed is loaded with them. So let's get back out here, see if we can find some more of these guys. All right, dude, see you later. Bye bye. All right, so I just took the glow bone color off and I put on a swamp gold. So this is green with some gold flake. This is another color that's gonna be available. But for this clean, clean water, I feel like this is a more natural color. And uh, that glow was kind of really bold. So this is gonna break up a little bit in the water. If those snooks see it, I think they're going to charge it. Oh, he's on right there. There we go. That one feels good. That one feels good. Come here. Oh, that's a redfish. I knew that didn't feel like a snook. All right. Well, that's a pleasant surprise right there. Come here, dude. You try to boat flip and you don't break my line. There we go. Y'all, look at that redfish. Does not have a spot on this side. Does have one spot on the other side. Beautiful little guy. These fish are so like colorful in here. I mean, I've, I don't think I've ever seen redfish really this red. Maybe every once in a while on the marshes back home, but just beautiful color on them. Nice, awesome blue tail. Appreciate the fight, little guy. And, uh, and thanks for biting the hoodwink. So we have caught a snook and a redfish today on the hoodwink. And bye-bye. See ya. Got a feeling we're going to catch some more, though. We're on them. It is still early. We've only been at it for about 35 minutes or so. Just going to pretty much stick with the same pattern. Uh, I'm going to try to fish oyster when I find it. And then other than that, I'm just going to really fish this flooded timber, flooded mangrove line. And uh, 
try to find them in current brakes and pockets which we should be just about slack tied now so i anticipate the fishing might get a little poor for about the next hour and a half there he is there he is doggone mangrove snapper all right i hear you well, that is our third species of the day. And the third species on the hoodwink. That is crazy. That's something that I really did not expect to catch up in here. All right, dude. See ya. Those are amazing table fare, too. If you've never caught a mangrove snapper, never ate them, they are awesome. I believe they got to be like 12 inches to keep or something like that here in Florida. I think that's the same way pretty much in all the Gulf states. But, yeah. They taste really, really good. Typically do not catch them on artificial though. It's mainly like a live shrimp type kind of deal. Oh my God, I just got broke. Just got feet nailed. Oh, well that ain't good. Well, y'all, that's the, the bad part about fishing around these mangroves and stuff like here. There's a lot of snags, oysters. I had some frayed up leader. Probably should have changed that out early on and it cost me on that one. That was a big fish right there. All right, we have re-rigged. This is my last swamp gold color and it has been getting a ton of bites. So hopefully I don't lose this one. Oh, he's on. He's on. Oh, good one. There we go. Right around in branches. All right. Well, that is going to be our second snook right there. On the hood wink. Get in there, baby. Oh, there we go. He choked it. I'm talking about choked it. Oh, look at how deep he took that hoodwink right there. I mean, it's all the way in the back. I think we can get it out without hurting him. It just kind of skin hooked him in the top of the mouth, but it is deep. There we go. There we go. <laughs> all right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and release this guy. I know I said he was a good one. He definitely hit like a freight train. Boom. And if y'all didn't know, these guys have super sharp fins. And he stuck me right in the leg. So we got us a little bit of an issue. Not too big. We're just going to keep on fishing. All right, so yeah, you see this whole line right here. I'm in about three foot of water. But this whole line has just branches that are hanging over. There's a little bit of current that's moving across them right here. We got a really good point that's coming up. And then another cove right here that Rusty's about to go into. But, uh. that's exactly where that fish was sitting really where he should have been you know there's so much cover right here so much water just flooded in there a lot of places that he can hang out and uh he just bit the wrong bait that's all oh there he is there he is come here what do we got is that a red that is a red fish and he smoked it, dude. These redfish are so powerful in here, man. Ugh. Second redfish of the evening. They have been kind of small, but nevertheless, fun fight, awesome eats. Bye-bye. There he is. I thought he was on. Was that a trout? That's a trout. It's a good one. Look like a trout. Could be a snook. Come here. What do we got? Snook. Come here. Come here, dude. 
sitting right on this point. All right. Well, that is snook number three. Little guy right there, dude. These are some awesome, awesome fighting fish, man. So fast, powerful, acrobatic. I love doing it. I wish we had more of these back home so I wouldn't have to travel 500 miles to get on them, but man, it is well worth making the trip up here. I am going to try the pearl white right here. I've been avoiding it just because of the, the water clarity, but we have caught a few snook, a few redfish, and now my curiosity is just getting to me. That looks so good. It looks good to me. I feel like in clean water, you need something to break up that pattern to where it's not so in your face like that. Obviously, that's going to be really, really easy to see. So, you never know. That white color might just turn them on. There are a ton of silver and, and whitish fish that are here that these guys feed on. Oh, we're on. Biggin, biggin. That's a biggin. That's a big fish. Am I recording? I am. Dude, I got a big fish. I don't know. He ain't came up yet. No, I got a little red that's wrapped up in a ton of grass. That guy fooled me. All right. I knew it was moving. I was about to say, man, I know that wasn't just grass that did that. I'll tell you, a redfish that's wrapped up in 30 pounds of grass will definitely make you think you got a big one. All right, well, we are tied with redfish and snook on the day. Three redfish, three snook. Come here. Got that one on the pearl white. Yeah, that would be a keeper, barely, but uh, we're not keeping. So we're gonna go ahead and let them go. Bye bye. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and end it there. Awesome day out here. We ended up catching three reds, three snook, a mangrove snapper, and we only fished for about three, three and a half hours. So awesome day i really enjoyed it uh we got one more trip left out here out at crystal river so that'll be tomorrow morning if y'all want to see that make sure y'all hit the subscribe button to get to see all of our content including that video and then hit the like button that always helps us we're trying to hit 25,000 subscribers this year and we need all the help we can get so i appreciate all of y'all going over there hitting the like button subscribe and comment with any questions and i will see y'all next time